Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm so excited. I've got a rainbow of colours out. Um, I'm going to do another rainbow pour. I'm going to do flip cups and I'm going to do another diagonal swipe. I did one, no, sorry, a diagonal tilt. I did a diagonal tilt the other day. Loved the effect, loved the result. Um, I achieved what I wanted to, but I didn't really like the end result. The colours were off. So I'm going to do very similar diagonal tilt, but flip cup with rainbow colours. Now, this is why I'm excited, because look at that. It's just gorgeous. So um, a lot of colours here. So I'm going to do I'm going to layer up five cups or five colours worth. So I'm going to have the red, orange and yellow in one, the greens, the blues, the purples and then the pinks. Um, and then I'm going. In fact, I'll show you the canvas already. I'm going to put them on this canvas. So what I've done is. Um, worked out five equal panels so they're all 8.6 centimeters apart so I've drawn those on and then I've created these little flaps from frog tape so I, I folded the frog tape over so there's a little bit of sticky which is now on the board and then I folded over so this bit here is dry so my plan will be to put the little flip cups in here tilt it out and then remove the tape so I can hopefully get some nice straight diagonal lines. Um, I've put silicon in all my colours in my colours and I've used this. It's coconut milk anti-breakage serum. Um, I've put a good two, three drops in each colour. I've got eight little tiny cups here to layer up. Um, the middle panel is the biggest panel so it needs the most paint so i'm going to do i think two quite full cups for the middle panel and then two less full for the next two and then one layer up one cup for the corners um so this corner here is going to be pinks so let's just layer up that to start with i've also got a nice big pot of white here so i might well use white White's got the silicon in too. Everything has got silicon. I put about four drops of the of the the coconut serum in there, just to show you the consistency. It's quite thick, quite creamy. It leaves a really good trace on the surface um, for probably a few seconds. So to layer the cups up, I'm literally just going to drizzle some paint in the bottom and then just drizzle the layers on top of each other. It's quite a nice thick consistency, so the colours will sit on each other. They shouldn't sink. Let's do maybe two layers of each. Right, the moment of truth. Is this going to work? I think I'll put the middle ones down first. Flip those over first. Try and not get them, not spill them. Right, so I've got to get this in the right order. So red here. So I'll do the green ones here. And then purple and then pink and the red and orange right I'm hoping I've got enough paint in this blue section um I did um a pour recently a flip cup pour in fact let me try and show you 
I did this flip cup pour recently. It's on a piece of wood and I'm making it into a clock. But I lifted the cup up. Normally, I just tip the cup over and it all just pours out beautifully. With this one, I lifted it up and then drizzled it all over. So you've got these lovely lines. And I love that effect. I, this is the first time I'd ever done it. And I think I did it by accident, really. But I loved the result. So I think I'm going to do that here. I'm not going to just let them fall over and pour out. I'm going to try and sort of swirl it around a little bit, I think. Um, right, having said that, how am I going to do this? I think I've got to start here. I think I'm just going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to just going to have to do it. Right, it's really thick. Well, I've got my patterns. Let's just leave that there to drain. It's really, really thick, which is why um, it didn't all spill out straight away. Let's just leave that there. I don't need to leave that one on because there's plenty of paint here. Oh no, I've got green in my blue. I wonder if I can just touch that and pull it up. Because it's the green's just sitting on the surface. And because I'll be tilting this, it doesn't matter. If it gets, if that gets distorted. Now I think I've got most of it and a little tiny bit here. Right, far too much paint on these end ones. <laughs> But I knew that, I knew that would happen. Oh no, orange has gone in my green and I've got a dirty blue finger. Now I've got blue in my green. Right, gone. Wow, so far, so good. It's looking quite cool. I love the drizzles, really like the drizzles. So my question now is, do I tilt now or do I torch now? I'm just wondering if I can tilt enough just to close that gap in the blue. So I will tilt some of the colours over the edge, but I just feel like, oh, there you go, that didn't take much. Oh, I almost had my green over my blue then. I've got to watch what I'm doing. I've got to pay more attention, be more careful. I'm going to do some torching. Now, I think the cells will be quite small that pop up because my paints were quite thick. And what will be interesting as I tilt this is I can obviously only tilt that way and that way. So normally I would try and tilt in all directions to try and keep the cells as um, as uniform shape as possible. But that isn't going to work this time. Now I'm just putting some gloves on because this paint is going to go everywhere. And I forgot to take my rings off. Right, so a diagonal tilt. Let's 
So the green is obviously the runniest because the green is moving a lot. Right, just going to keep tilting until it's all covered. So I am trying to go back and forwards. I'm a bit concerned that these are collapsing quite a lot. I don't know how to make those more rigid though. And then just simply back the other way. Wow, I love it. Obviously, got a lot of way to go yet, but so far, I'm loving this. I am going to torch it again. I'm just going to cover the, make sure these little corners are covered. Put some orange on that orange corner. And then some pink over on this pink corner. Right, another thing I've just realised is the blue is higher than the green now because more of the green has been tilted off. So when I take the, the this off, who knows, Let's see what happened. Right, I'm just going to give it another torch. Right, so far so good. But the most difficult bit is yet to come. I'm going to, I'm just holding it at each end. goodness wow so I'm just now seeing what's going to happen because the paint now is spreading out so here it's met the green beautifully already and the greens met the orange oh and the purple and the blue are meeting so I'm just hoping there's now enough weight enough paint that the colors will now just sink into each other so I'm not going to do anything to it at the moment. I'm just going to let it let it do its own thing. But I've got lots of work to do on the edges because the paint missed on quite a few places on the edges. So I'm just going to spend some time just get covering the bits of bare canvas. So I'm just going to get a stir stick and I'm just having a look. I'm just trying to decide which way to push it. So I think this bit of the green needs to come this way slightly, but the orange that way.
Right, I'm quite excited because it's worked. So uh, the difference this time compared to the last time is you've got such separation between the bands because they are entirely different colours. So you're in no doubt that there are stripes there. I like the fact that I've got an odd number of stripes with one thick central one, whereas the other one was divided into six instead of five. Um, the white has taken over quite a lot but I think that works really well because I think it emphasises, it highlights the colour more. It shows, so where you've got purple next to white, I think it shows you, the show makes the purple stand out more. There seems to be less cells in the pink section. So when I torched again, I didn't really get much more. Um, and the same with the green, actually. But the blue, I love the blue. The green, I think there's probably not enough contrast between some of the greens or... Um, certainly that the lighter green isn't showing up quite as much oops sorry a load of paint's just fallen over um, and then last section the red and yellow and orange really pretty so I am really really excited um, I finished the edges so you can see that the colours just sort of wrap over nicely so I'll be back when it's dry so it's now virtually dry. There is a little bit of wet still in the middle of the blue um, section. So as soon as I finish filming, I'll put this flat again. Um, it's just taken ages to dry because there was so much paint. Um, it's worked. I'm so happy I haven't touched it. I haven't embellished it. The last one, I ended up drawing the straight lines. These have stayed straight. Um, it's so, it's worked. It's exactly as I left it when it was wet. Look at those lines. Um, not 100% straight, you'll never get 100% straight, um, but they are, I'm going to class them as straight. They're straight enough for me. Um, really, really pleased. Um, with after the last one, quite a few people said they actually preferred to have the natural straightness of these lines instead of sort of artificially drawn over. Um, so I think it just adds to it that they're not, for example, there, there's a little bit of overlap between the green and the red. Um, the colours are amazing. The green, the cells are much smaller, more subtle. The blue, they're so bold. Um, it really has worked. A rainbow, a diagonal tilted rainbow. So, so happy with it. Um, let me know what you think of it. Um, do you like this technique? Do you want to see more of this technique? Um, I've got another sneaky plan up my sleeve. Um, I'm thinking about taking this a step further and instead of just going for straight lines, I'm going to go for zigzags. <laughs> I've no idea if it's going to work, but watch this space. Um, I'm all set up for it. It's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think. Please leave me a comment. If you like it, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you don't like it, I'd be really interested to know your thoughts. Um, please do hit the thumbs up button if you like it and do subscribe to my channel. Great. Thanks for watching. Bye.